Okay, in our continuing conversation about agents' responsibilities to principals, I want to throw this slide in here, but it actually is not telling you anything uh, new. Now, let me tell you why that is. When we're talking about this chapter, we're talking about agents' responsibilities and liabilities, et cetera, they're actually covered by three things. They're actually covered by the common law of agency, which is what we've talked about a lot so far, what court cases have said that uh, agents are responsible for. It's also covered by license law, and it's also covered by commission rule. So when we talk about some of these things, you'll see a parallel. There won't be a whole lot here that you have not uh, heard uh, before. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong slide there. Let me go back to this one. The additional duties that I wanted to talk to you about uh, in regards to a uh, principal go something like this. See if they sound familiar to you. Avoid making any false promises uh, that are likely to influence or persuade your uh, client. Clearly, you're not getting into this business to lie to people, to lead them to get into transactions. Avoid any undisclosed conflict of interest. We've hit on that several times, okay? Properly account for funds held in escrow. We'll talk more about this in license law, but I gotta be honest with you, to some extent, this is gonna be more important for brokers in charge than it will be for PBs, uh, provisional brokers. We'll talk about it just a little bit in the uh, license law section. Act competently, I think that kind of goes without saying, but there's actually a rule that says it anyway. Avoid improper conduct, to be honest, in all dealings with all parties. Well, this is kind of a catch-all. Uh, when, oftentimes when an agent is disciplined, they'll throw this one in because what happened is they've clearly done something where they've not acted competently or they've acted in some type of improper conduct in a manner that would hurt the public. And that's what the commission's all about. Deliver all offers and contracts to principal. This is gonna be a constant theme throughout this our course. Deliver all offers, counter offers, et cetera. It doesn't matter if they're good, bad, or indifferent. You should deliver them. Uh, deliver a copy of any written agency agreement within three days. You'll find out that's consistent as well. Copies of all these contracts, agency agreements, et cetera, et cetera, within three days. And then disclose any commission referral fees and kickbacks. We will discuss this in excruciating detail when we get to license law and rule comments. Let me remind you, the significance of this is simply the fact that you have multiple things looking over your shoulder when you're practicing in uh, real estate. You have the commission, you have license law, you have the common law of uh, agency. All of these would be important.